Hi everyone, in this video we're going to evaluate this limit. So we're going to compute the limit as h approaches 0 of the sine of h times the sine of 2h all divided by the sine of 3h uh, times h. So to do this problem, I'm pretty sure that we can use uh, a limit. So if you know that the limit as h approaches 0 of the sine of h over h uh, is equal to 1, then in theory, we should be able to do this problem, okay? So I have some ideas. So first of all, let's rewrite it. So this is the limit as h approaches 0. And we can write this piece, we can rewrite this as sine h over h times, and we can write this as sine 2h over sine 3h. Okay, so that's a good, I think it's a good first step, right? So basically, this times this is this times this, so things are good. This times this is this times this, so we have the same expression. So basically, we can break this up. It'll be the limit of this times the limit of this, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be, and this limit will exist, right? This limit is one, and we'll show that this one exists at the end as well. We'll show that all the limits at the end exist, so that all of this mathematics is actually correct. So this is the limit as h approaches 0 of the sine of h over h times, and then let's work with this limit here. This is the limit as h approaches 0. So here's the idea. Whenever these match and h is approaching 0, you're going to get 1, right? So like if we had limit h approaches 0 sine 2h over 2h, this is one, right? Because both of these approach zero, right? And they, they're exactly the same. They have to be the same though, right? So 2h over 2h, um, and this 2h is approaching zero, you're gonna get one. So the idea is here we have sine 2h. It would be really nice if we had a 2h. So what we do is we just put it there because we can do whatever we want, right? As long as it's correct. So I'm gonna put it there. <laughs> We're gonna just do what we want. Uh, now we gotta get rid of it. So we'll put a 2h here. So basically, we've multiplied by 1 in a clever way. We really haven't done anything, right? Same thing here. We have sine 3h. And then we'll put a 3h here. And then we'll eliminate it by putting a 3h here. It's really small. hope you can see it. So those will cancel as well. So we've done nothing here. I'm going to write this one more time. This is the limit as h approaches 0 of sine h over h. Right? Really pretty stuff times, and then um, these h's cancel, you can pull out the two-thirds. So it's two-thirds limit h approaches zero, and it's the top piece. So sine 2h over 2h. Go really slow here. Uh, uh, over. You can bring the limit upstairs and the limit downstairs as well. You can break it up into like three different limits. Um, this is the sine of 3h. It's very notationally intensive over 3h, uh, uh. and so now we have this, we have this, and we have this. So there's three different limits, right? There's three different limits here. I'll go ahead and show it. It's a bit crazy, but you know what? Sometimes it's good to be weird. I'm going to write it again. I know it's one, but let's just completely break it down, right? Just so you see every possible step. I never do this much work, so let me, let me, let me be different, right, for once. So this is two-thirds. This is ridiculous times, and then the limit, you can bring it upstairs. This is the limit as h approaches 0 of the sine of 2h over 2h over the limit as h approaches 0 of the sine of 3h over 3h. Would you look at that? That's just beautiful. So we have three limits. All of this math is correct as long as all of these limits exist, and they do, right? This limit here is equal to 1. This is the constant. We could have pulled it out, but we'll leave it there times this limit here is equal to 1. This limit here is equal to 1. So this whole thing is equal to 2 thirds. What a beautiful problem, right? So I hope this video has been enlightening in some way and has helped you in some way. Um, until next time, take care.